Hello friends, welcome to Padu's Kitchen. In today's video, we are going to make Moong Dal Sambar for different items like Idli, Dosa, Pongal, Upma, etc. Let's get started. I have taken one third cup of Moong Dal, that is Pasi Parpu, which I have washed and kept it ready. 15 pearl onions chopped. If you don't have time to peel small onions, you can use one big onion. 2 ripe tomatoes chopped. A teaspoon of homemade sambar powder. Check the recipe link in the description box. Salt. Green chilies. I have taken two. You can take more if you prefer it spicy. Curry leaves. This is one teaspoon of gram flour or besan. Kadalamava in Tamil. This is used for thickening the sambar. If you don't have this, you can use rice flour also. We will mix this with little water without lumps. This is optional. If you don't want to use it, you need not use it. Keep this aside. In a cooker, heat 2 tablespoons of oil. Add a teaspoon of mustard seeds. A teaspoon of cumin seeds. A pinch of fenugreek seeds. Asaphodita. Onions. Curry leaves. Green chilies. Saute the onions until they turn transparent. Onions are cooked well. The onions are well cooked. Add the tomatoes, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of sambar powder, salt needed. Cook until tomatoes turn mushy. Tomatoes are cooked well. It has oozed out oil. At this stage, I am adding the moong dal. 1.5 cup of water. Gram flour water or besan water. Mix this well. Check for salt by tasting the water. If required, you can add it at this stage. Pressure cook this on medium heat for one whistle. I am turning off the heat. Pressure has subsided. Mash this well when it is hot. Add one more cup of water. Idli sambar should be watery. It should not be too thick. Cook this on medium low heat. Keep stirring now and then. Otherwise the dal will get stuck to the bottom and get burnt. This has started boiling. Simmer this for 4 to 5 minutes. You can adjust the consistency according to your preferences. This is simmering for more than 5 minutes. I am turning off the heat. Garnish with coriander leaves. Idli sambar is ready. Serve piping hot sambar with idli, dosa, pungal or upma. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to Padu's Kitchen. Also click the bell icon so that you will get notified every time I post a video. Do share this video with your family and friends. Thank you.